$100 exact to trifecta early pick three wagering begins here a field of 10 there are no changes of the 10 striking Edith will score from the second tier number one is Parson Brown owned by Jerome Rainey of Portsmouth Ohio trained and driven by Sandy Beatty number two is Piano Man owned by Joanne Perry of Hudson Ohio trained by James Perry with Bruce Sturgeon the three is Levite owned by the Shout Stable of Pompano Beach Florida trained and driven by Rick Shout the four is Allie Jane, owned by Peggy Carter of Londonderry, Ohio, and Easter Day and Reed, other of the Buckeye State, trained and driven by Steve Carter. The five is Sunday's Angel, owned and trained by Myron Brown of Arcana, Ohio, with Jeff Ace. Nice honor. The six is Action Photos, owned by Melby Ober Senior at Cable, Ohio, trained by Ann Hiltabran with Dave Sensor. Number seven is Vacation Creation, owned by Harry Niners Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York, trained by Timmy Rucker with Debbie Rucker. The eight is Victory's Child, owned by Alan Quinn of Dillon, Florida, and Frank Cannon of Longwood, Florida, trained by Danny Collins, Jeff Fount. For the outside of the nine, Idle Acres Flight, owned by George Casale of Farmingdale, New Jersey, trained by Bernie Boland with Bob Harper. And for the second tier of the 10, Striking Edith, owned by Jason Ash of Macedonia, Ohio, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., Jim Daly, and her sulky. That's the field. Stretch and there they go. Field in motion. Break the seven vacation creation before the start. They're off and trotting and firing away from the middle of the track. There goes Allie Jane right alongside. That is Sunday's Angel from the inside in third. Levite comes away trotting there. Up on the outside racing in four. That is Victory's Chowd. Fifth there on the inside. Piano Man. Sixth to the outside. Ida Waker's Flight. Seventh from the rail. Parson Brown. Eighth there along the inside. Action Photos. Ninth from the second tier. Striking Edith and tenth and trailing the field after the early miscue. That is Vacation Creation. As they trot towards that opening quarter being led by Allie Jane on the front tier through an opening quarter at 28 and two fifths. Down along the inside, Sunday's Angel has found the garden spot, trotting in two. Levite to the inside, Levite trotting in third there, watching over the top two. Inside and fourth, Victory's Chowd. Outside of there in five, Idle Acres Flight has begun the long mile of the outside of there to chase the leader. Second over the outside in six, Piano Man. Seventh and third over, Parson Brown. Eighth along the inside, Action Photos. Ninth and fourth over there. That is striking Edith and a ways back to vacation creation, trailing the field. As they step around the clubhouse, turn in front of the paddock they reach the half in one minute and one fifth off the turn and driving down the back side heads are pointed towards three quarters being led by Allie Jane on the point here letting it by length and three quarters to the inside Sunday's Angel is still stalking in two outside in third and grinding it out there that is Idaho Acres flight second over the outside racing in fourth there piano man Levite Levite to the inside trots in fifth third over the outside racing in six Parson Brown as they wheel towards three quarters Allie Jane has been there every step of the way to the inside Sunday's Angel trots in second, three quarters and one thirty and two fifths. They'll trot the final turn and head for home. Alley Jane with a lead tear under a couple tippy taps of the whip. Sent up three wide in closing ground. Piano Man into the inside. Sunday's Angel as they turn to the top of Heartbreak Lane. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. And Alley Jane with a lead tear. A move to the inside. Here comes Sunday's Angel way down low. Here's Lavite and Lavite is trying to surge on as they come to the wire. Alley Jane is going to roll. Coast to coast, Levite to go second. Third was the two piano man off stride of the wire there. The time of the mile, two minutes and two fives. Allie Jane in a new lifetime mark. Allie Jane, three-year-old daughter of Shimitar out of a final score mare, Mirthful Jane, by Carter, Easter Day and Reed, they're all with the Buckeye State, nicely handled to you this evening by winning trainer driver Steve Carter. The four, Allie Jane, home a winner to new lifetime mark, two minutes and two fifths.